My name is Christina Taylor. I'm a paper conservator at the Harvard Art Museums. And today I'm talking to you about this print by Jean-Francois Genonet from 1789. It's an intaglio print and it was printed from a copper plate similar to this one. At first glance, it might look like an aquatint, especially in areas like here in the leg and in other areas of the drapery. You can really see this stepped tone from light to gray to dark gray to black. Aquatint is a very popular technique used at the time to create tone in this way. However, Jeanne did not utilize the aquatint technique. He utilized a different technique with a tool called the roulette. And a roulette is a wheeled tool and the steel end of the tool has either lines or dots to create tone. And these patterns can be regular or irregular. The tool is commonly used directly onto a bare copper plate like this one. The tool is rolled over the surface and it creates enough tooth for ink to hold onto when printed. However, Janine did not use the tool in this way. He used it as an etching technique. A ground is applied over the plate and this protects the plate from the acid during etching. So when the roulette is rolled over the surface and it just takes a little bit of pressure to remove that ground to reveal the copper from underneath. And the ground protected the remaining area of the plate from the acid during etching. So the roulette can be very gently applied over the surface in multiple directions to create the tone that he desires. So a darker area would have more layers of roulette rolled over the surface and a lighter area would have fewer. And then to create the very specific shape of the drapery or the figures, the arms, the fingers, the very minute details, he would have gone in with a brush and some other stop out or ground. And this hard edge of the ground relates directly to the hard edges we see in the steps of the print. So I did a number of tests with various roulettes to see what type of pattern was most like Janine. And here you can see in areas that I stopped out, it creates a very clean, sharp line. And when we compare these tests to fine details looking under the microscope of the Janine print, it looks like he probably used a roulette with a fine dot pattern as opposed to one with a line pattern or one that is irregular. The roulette technique is a very labor-intensive, time-consuming process, but the roulette offers him an incredible amount of control that he felt like he couldn't achieve with Aquatint. And this print is an excellent example of his mastery of the roulette technique.